the last weeks of his life, Van Gogh completed a number of impressive paintings of the wheat fields around Auvergne. This outspread field under a dark sky is one of them. In these landscapes he tried to express sadness, extreme loneliness. The elongated format of wheat fields under thunderclouds is unusual. It emphasizes the grandeur of the landscape, as does the simple composition, two horizontal planes. In Auvergne, Vincent van Gogh painted a large number of landscapes with wheat fields, all on unusual, elongated canvases. He wrote to his brother Theo about two of these works, they depict vast, distended wheat fields under angry skies, and I deliberately tried to express sadness and extreme loneliness in them. But these pictures also had a positive side. All right, have you ever wondered why storm clouds are ominously dark? Well, it's all a matter of density. Meteorologist Alex Wilson explains. On a beautiful day, you can often walk outside to see the sun and white fluffy clouds in the sky. But bring in a storm or some rain, and those white pillowy clouds turn dark and gray. This darker color actually has to do with a cloud's composition. Clouds are made up of billions of microscopic dots of water called cloud droplets. When these droplets reflect white light from the sun, it scatters out in all directions and the cloud appears to be white. But as a cloud starts to get thicker or denser from gathering more water droplets and ice crystals, some of that original sunlight is blocked or absorbed. Because of that, the particles on the undersides of the clouds don't have as much light to scatter. They appear gray. You're essentially seeing a shadow caused by light being blocked in the cloud. This effect becomes more noticeable the larger the water droplets get inside a cloud. So if you see some particularly dark clouds, it may mean rain is just around the corner. Vincent van Gogh, born March 30, 1853, Zundert, Netherlands, died July 29, 1890, Auvergne was, near Paris, France, Dutch painter, generally considered the greatest after Rembrandt van Riem and one of the greatest of the post-impressionists.